Good evening. No relief for 40,000 New Mexico Blue Cross Blue Shield customers. In April, some accused the state of taking a backroom deal when it agreed to allow the health care insurance company to increase its rates for individual policies by 21 percent. A public hearing today was supposed to clear that up, but some felt it didn't. News 13 is live in Santa Fe with the story. And Jessica, today's was a second public hearing on the issue where many customers say they felt like their concerns just weren't heard. The public comment was not taken until after closing arguments. I came here under the impression that this particular rate increase was still open to discussion and that public opinion would be taken into account. Clearly, I was mistaken. Now, in December, the Public Regulation Commission approved the health care provider's requested rate increase of 24.6 percent. Customers, in turn, protested, so the PRC scheduled a public hearing in April. But before that hearing even started, the PRC, Blue Cross Blue Shield, and Attorney General's Office agreed on a 21.3 percent increase. Now, today's public hearing was supposed to show evidence that the double-digit rate hike was needed. Blue Cross said it's lost $20 million in the past three years, and that's why it wants to raise its rates, yet some question their ability to purchase a new building. Some audience members felt the hearing was one-sided. And there has been no opportunity for anyone who does not agree that this 21.3 percent is a reasonable increase to actually ask questions about the evidence. And somebody has to be in the middle. And the reason I'm here is because I have no sense that anyone is in the middle. I and by the time public comment was heard this afternoon, more than half of the room was gone, including Blue Cross Blue Shield representatives. They left as soon as public comment began. Now, some customers say they're planning to appeal the rate increase. Back to you. Okay, Crystal, Blue Cross Blue Shield, the Attorney General's Office, and the Department of Insurance were ordered today to resubmit evidence for the approved rate hike within five weeks.